Good morning everyone. My name is Miss Marilyn and welcome to Preschool Storytime. We're going to get started the way we always do by shaking our sillies out. Are you ready? We're going to shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, shake, shake our sillies out and wiggle our waggles away. We're going to clap, clap, clap our crazies out. Clap, clap, clap our crazies out. Clap, clap. Clap our crazies out and wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna stomp, stomp, stomp our stompies out. Stomp, stomp, stomp our stompies out. Stomp, stomp, stomp our stompies out and wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out and wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna yawn, yawn, yawn our yawnies out. Yawn, yawn, yawn our yawnies out. Yawn, yawn, yawn our yawnies out and wiggle our waggles away. Good job, guys. Thanks for singing along with me. Well, today we are gonna hear stories about alligators and crocodiles. And our first story is called Gator, Gator, Gator. Have you heard about the gator in the bayou thick with moss? Granny says his skin's like nails and says his temper's like hot sauce. He's wider than a school bus and longer than a tree. He's silent like a secret and no one knows where he might be. Do you wanna come? Wanna come? Wanna come and see? Let's go find that gator, gator, gator. Come along with me. Got some rules, some directions. Pay attention. No hand in the swamp, no foot on the side. Do not jump on any log and do not go for a ride. Oh, one more, don't jump in, don't you dare go for a swim, or I promise, see you later, you're with Mr. Alligator. <gasps> Over yonder near the shore, see that lily padded patch, see him hiding in the middle, waiting for a tasty snack? That's him for sure, don't believe me, I bent you my pink, so pink socks, there he is, don't you see him? <gasps> oh, sorry. It's just a fox. <gasps> Over yonder, neath them trees, see him floating with the grass? How he lays there in the shadows, waiting for his lunch to pass? That's him for sure. Don't believe you? Don't believe me? I bet my birthday cake. There he is. Don't you see him? Oh, sorry. It's just a snake. <gasps> Over yonder, in them reeds, see that tail turn the water? How it's bumpy, scaly, barky, browner than my great grandfather? That's him for sure. Don't believe me? I'd bet you my fat cat. There he is. Don't you see him? Oh, sorry. That one's just a rat. Over yonder in that swamp, see that shadow black as night? How it hides below the duckweed, near the reeds and out of sight? That's sure him. Don't believe me? I'd bet a million bucks. There he is. You don't see him? Oh, sorry. That's just some ducks. <laughs> it's sure quiet. Awful quiet. Don't dare move a muscle, friend. I sure swear that gator's out there. <gasps> Wait, did you just rock that boat just then? You know what I've been thinking? Best leave well enough alone. I ain't scared and I ain't chicken. Bum. Oh, was that you, friend? Oh, don't say no. Over yonder, see them eyes, how they twinkle in the sun. There he is, please believe me. Watch out, watch out, here he comes. The water's whirring, see it stirring. Better start that motor quick. We should hurry, time's a wasting. Chugga, chugga, click, click, click. Try again, the gator's coming. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Now go, 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 hurry, hurry, move it, move it. We're not stopping, no, no, no. Oh, fine land, dock boat, come on back and hide. Do you see our friend the gator? Do you see him in the moss? I just know he's out there somewhere. Monster gators don't get lost. He's close by. I can feel him and I know where he might be. 
but I need a friend, a friend like you, to come back out with me. So, you wanna come? Wanna come? Do you wanna come and see? Let's go find that gator, gator, gator. Come on out with me. The end. Whew, that was a close one. Well, we're gonna go ahead and sing a song. And the song is called Do As I'm Doing. And for the song, I want you guys to follow along with me. And when we start the song, we're gonna start with clapping. So can you guys clap your hands? Very good, let's get singing. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. We can do it up high and down low. We can do it fast and slow. But we can do other stuff than just clapping, ready? Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. We can go up high, and we can go down low. We can go fast, and we can go slow. What other stuff do you think we could do that to? Hmm, I bet you guys can figure it out and try it at home. All right, we're gonna read another story. And this story is called, Alan's Big Scary Teeth. Alan came from a long line of very scary alligators. He was known throughout the jungle for his scaring. It's what he did best. Alan would start each day polishing his scales, ooh, and sharpening his nails, and brushing each of his big scary teeth at least 10 times. And after practicing frightening faces in the mirror, he'd sneak into the jungle for his morning round of scaring. Alan went, snap, snap, and and he said things like, I'm Big Scary Alan, fear my razor sharp teeth. He made the frogs jump from their lily pads and monkeys tumble from their trees and parrots screech in terrible terror. Ha ha, I love Big Scary, said Alan. And after a long day of scaring the jungle animals, Alan would head back home to the swamp, relax, finish the crossword puzzle in the jungle times and take out his false teeth. <gasps> no one knew about Alan's false teeth. Good night, teeth. Sweet dreams, my scary snappers, Alan would say as he put them away carefully in his super secret hiding place. One morning, Barry the beaver was up early collecting wood and came across a dozing Alan. Terrified that Alan might wake up and gobble him up whole, he quickly dived behind a bush. Whew, that was close, thought Barry, just as a set of false teeth fell from a bush with a very familiar snap. When Alan woke up, his teeth were gone. My teeth, my teeth, where are my teeth? What could he do? Hmm, maybe no one would notice. Could he still be scary without them? He decided to head into the jungle as usual. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads and the monkeys, tum monkeys tumble from the trees and the parrots screech ah, <laughs> with laughter. Alan just wasn't that scary without his teeth. <laughs> Alan slunk back to the swamp. He had never been more embarrassed. He came home from a, he came from a long line of scary alligators. Scaring was all he had ever known. What would Alan do now? Poor Alan began to cry. <laughs> At first, just a little bit, but then the tears came streaming down his face. He howled and he yowled more than all the jungle babies put together. <laughs> and he could not stop crying until... The next morning, when all of the animals turned up at Alan's swamp with his big, scary teeth. We'll give you your teeth back, said Frog. Really? said Alan. On one condition, said Parrot. 
You have to stop scaring us. Uh, but what will I do? I don't know anything else. I have an idea, said Frog. So every day after polishing his scales and sharpening his nails and brushing his big scary teeth, Alan headed into the jungle. Alan became Alan the gardener, Alan the hairdresser, and Alan the dentist. But every night he became Alan the big scary storyteller, thrilling the jungle animals with his terrifying tales. <laughs> I love being scary, said Alan. And sometimes he even let Barry borrow his teeth. The end. There's lots of different things that alligators can do. Well, speaking of alligators, I brought a friend with me today. Oh, and here he is. And he's got some teeth of his own. And we're going to do a little rhyme with our alligator friend. So, there was a little alligator who lived in the glade. He climbed on the rocks and he relaxed in the shade. He snapped at the bird and he snapped at the bee and he snapped at the fish and he snapped at me. Well, he missed the bird and he missed the bee. He didn't miss the fish, but he did miss me. All right, we'll see him a little bit in a little bit for another rhyme. And we're going to read our next story, which is called The Watermelon Seed. I love watermelon. Chomp, chomp, chomp. It's the best. Ever since I was a teeny weeny baby crocodile, it's been my favorite. <laughs> chomp, chomp, chomp. I like it for breakfast, I like it for lunch, I like a big salty slab for dinner, and I love it for dessert. I love watermelon. Uh oh. I just swallowed a seed. I swallowed a seed. Is growing oh, in my guts, and soon vines will be coming out of my ears. And my stomach will stretch, and my skin will turn pink. I don't want to be in a fruit salad. Somebody, please help me. Look, oh, oh no. I can feel it growing inside me. Oh no, it's happening now. My stomach feels funny. Oh, there's the seed. Whew, that was close. No more watermelon for me, never again. Okay, well, maybe just a teeny little bite. Uh-oh. The end. Oh, right. Well, I told you we'd be seeing him again. And our alligator friend is back for another rhyme. So can you show off your teeth? So, I have a little alligator friend, and he smiles at you for free, but don't let him get too close or he'll gobble up your knee. Ah! <laughs> I have a little alligator friend, and he'll smile at you for free, but don't let him get too close or he'll gobble up your arm. Ah! I have a little alligator friend, and he'll smile at you for free. But don't let him get too close, or he'll gobble up your hair. 
I have a little alligator friend and he'll smile at you for free. But don't let him get too close or he'll gobble up your belly. Ah! It's okay. All right, I've got one more story for you and this one is called Solomon Crocodile. All is peaceful on the banks of the river. Everyone is relaxing in the morning sun until, uh-oh, here comes trouble. Solomon splats and slaps through the mud to make the frogs jump. But all the frogs croak, go away Solomon, you're nothing but a pest. Solomon shakes the brushels and the bugs and the dragonflies, but the dragonflies sing, go away Solomon, you're nothing but a nuisance. Solomon decides to stalk the storks. They get in such a flap, go away Solomon, the storks squawk, you're nothing but a pain. Out of the corner of his eye, Solomon spies the biggest hippos in the river. This could be the best fun yet, he thinks. Solomon charges, but Solomon, roars the biggest hippo, go away, you're nothing but trouble. Poor Solomon, nobody wants to play. But then Solomon hears a noise. Somebody is making the frogs jump. And somebody is bugging the dragonflies. And somebody has the storks in a flap. But that is not Solomon. Somebody is getting nearer and nearer. And <gasps> snap! Uh-oh, here comes double trouble. Sometimes you just need a good friend to play with. The end. All right, that was our last story for the day. So we're gonna sing our closing song, If You're Happy and You Know It. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Thanks for listening, guys. See you next time. Bye.